Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy, if you are here for the first time. If you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for showing your girl some love. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail just to hear my voice and what I have to say for today. And hopefully you can enjoy the fragrance as well, or maybe even purchase. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that every time I do upload a video, you'll be the first one to give me your feedback, recommendations, or you know, just even say hello. Also follow me on Instagram, it's Marcemello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W. You already know, we have fun over there. We do a lot of lives, reels. You know, look at my travel highlights. Let that be your source of inspiration for your next travel destination. You know, just come on over to Instagram and you know, just have a little bit of fun. Let's share and get to know one another. Anyway, so for today, we're gonna be discussing one of my, I've been wanting this fragrance for a long time and I just never pulled the trigger up until maybe about a month ago. And I heard it was like a really amazing gourmand. Um, I do love a great lemon note. And I just, I mean, who doesn't love a good gourmand? Anything that smells sweet, creamy, succulent, you know, anything that smells and tastes like cake, okay? So anyway, we're gonna be discussing the House of Kerosene, which I think they consider it an ND house, not really a niche house. Not designer, not in, not niche, but it's an ND house. Um, I've only purchased one fragrance from them from them so far, and I'm very happy that I did. Um, to me, it's a great blind buy. I'll go through the notes with you and the main accords. Um, I, I really love it, and if I run out of this bottle, I will definitely be purchasing another one. Let me relax my eyebrows, you all, you know, because my face is real animated. Um, but anyway, I love this fragrance and um, we're just going to get into it. So without further ado, let's get into the house of kerosene. So um, when I receive this, it comes in a box, but it's not um, actual like a manufactured box. So um, it came in just like a brown box and it had a lot of wrapping around it. And um, it came in this really cute little satchel. So I was like, oh, that's different. This is good for traveling. Of course, you have to still, um, you know, wrap up your fragrance so that it doesn't break. Um, with the House of Kerosene, you get two samples, which is amazing. So the, it allows you to try um, other fragrances, you know, just in case you do or you are interested or do want to buy them at a later date. Um, the bottle's stunning. You know, the bottle's really, it's very... Um, it's not pretty, but it has a little bit of an edge to it, and I like that because I think we all have a little bit of an edge to us, you know, uh, if you know what I mean. So anyway, um, let's just get into some information about the owner of the fragrance. So um, the owner, it just, it doesn't list his names and I didn't Google it, but it just says from the company of Kerosene, um, the owner of the fragrance house, he used to work in an automotive manufacturer um, company back in Michigan. I think it was um, some, some city in Michigan. So he said um, when he grew up, all he knew was the automotive industry. And if you didn't go into the automotive industry, then you weren't going to find a job. So in that, he decided to go into the automotive industry. He absolutely loved what he did at the time. He loved painting cars, fixing cars, you know, putting them all together. But he said at the end of the day, he'd have all these scents and smells that he would think about, um, you know, every day. He would have like gasoline, grease, dirt, grime. He said even from working so hard, like his knuckles would bleed. And, you know, he said he even liked the smell of bloody knuckles, you know. So this is what attracted the um, fragrance house owner to different scents, just smelling all those different scents all of his life, life on top of, you know, he mentioned grass and, you know, the dirt, you know, he was very attracted and very eager to learn about several scents in life. So he decided to flip the script, you know, instead of being on the grimy side of, you know, a fragrance or a scent, he decided to, you know, switch his life up and go into more delectable, more um, sweet smelling, more fragrant, appealing smelling scents, um, and, you know, leave the dusty and the dirtiness behind. So anyway, but he did mention that he did love his job, and it helped him to get where he is today. So anyway, that's a little background on the House of Kerosene. Um, there are a couple of other ones that I want to try. Um, one is called Dirty Flower Factory. 
all of the scent names kind of, um, it gives you kind of a history and a background as to where he came from. Um, even the bottles, they do paint the bottles with a high quality automotive paint, you know, and he says it just um, reminds him of a Ford finish, you know, on the actual old Ford car. So you can appreciate that when people put a lot of thought process into what they want their bottles to look like. You know, this is a plaque, a metal plaque, you know, as if it's a license plate on the bottle. You know, I can appreciate all of that. Their inspiration. You know, there's always a story behind most fragrances, um, especially when they're niche fragrances. And it just gives you an insight into the heart of the person behind making the perfume. And I can totally appreciate it. Anyway, perfumery is a work of art and you have to appreciate it. So let's get into um, the notes. So this is Unknown Pleasure. And I think this is one of the more uh, popular scents by um, uh, Kerosene. And in this, there's Earl Grey tea, there's lemon, bergamot, there's honey, tonka bean, caramel, vanilla, and waffle cone. This is a, an amazing this is like the only lemon gourmand fragrance I will ever need. It's zingy, it's creamy, it's sweet. It smells like ice cream, like a waffle cone as it says, uh, but you still get the, a little bit of hints of the Earl Grey. I love tea, you all know that. You get a little bit of a tea note. So it's like a lemon tea ice cream, a uh, creamy ice cream, with inside of a waffle cone. And this is amazing, y'all. You know, the sillage is amazing. The protection is amazing. It lasts on my skin about five to six hours. On my clothes, it lasts about eight hours. I absolutely love this stuff. This is good. And like I said, I will be repurchasing this again. So let's go ahead and get into the, um, the atomizer. I love it. It's, it's, it's good. I'm always looking for like a good lemon, creamy, ice creamy gourmand. This, you all, you all, this is the best lemon scent, lemon creamy gourmand I've ever had. Dare I say, and I will say, this is better than Lyra Zerjoff. You know, we pay a lot of money for Lyra Zerjoff, but I love this one. You get more of the, like the projection on this is amazing. This right here, if you want, this is what I expected out of Zerjoff, you all. So... Unknown Pleasures, Kerosene, you're amazing. I love this stuff. It's very addicting. You know, the, the burst of fresh lemon zest that you get on top of like ice cream and a waffle cone uh, with a little bit of like Earl Grey tea. This is this stuff is stunning. I would say this is this will probably be in my top 10 for life. Yeah, this is a great um, gourmand. I love it. And it makes me more interested in trying more from the house. So let's get into another one. Um, this one, they give you two samples. Now, I chose Sweetly Unknown. Um, they're really just cute little samples and you could probably pour them a couple times. So we're going to get into Sweetly Unknown first. Now, this is considered like, uh, they say if this is, is it it's as if you walked into a confectionery lab full of like sweet spices. So this has cardamom, cacao, sugar, caramel, vanilla, and musk. Uh, when I read the notes on this, I was like, this smells delicious. So let's go ahead and... Sp I do like it. Put a little more so I can get a real good whiff. I like it. I like it a lot. It's rarely, it's not, I thought it would be a little more strong, the cardamom, but um, let me go ahead and put it on my finger because I, I kind of really want to smell it. So, and this is Sweetly Known. I like it. It smells like it has a little bit of a, 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 a tinge of like a coffee hint in here, but it could just be the cacao, the sugar, the burnt sugar, the caramel, the vanilla, and the musk. I like it, it's not my favorite because it's real musky. Would I purchase a bigger bottle of this? Probably not, but I do like the top notes of the burnt caramel, the sugar, and the cacao. It leans a little more masculine to me, so I probably not would not purchase I'm Sweetly Unknown. So the next one, we have Unforsaken. Now in Unforsaken, what drew me to this is that is that it has yuzu inside. So in here, there's tangerine, there's clementine, coconut, yuzu, orange, uh, orange blossom, jasmine, there's ginger, tonka bean, uh, benzoin, vanilla, and musk. So hopefully, let's see, hopefully this one's not too musky. 
I do love musk though, but I don't like it to be masculine leaning. And he uses very um, raw products, so I can understand why the musk is really musky. Now, Unforsaken. I like the Unforsaken. It gives me a little patchouli vibe, though, because I smell, maybe it's the yuzu and the musk mixed with the citrus notes, like the tangerine. I like this one, but this one kind of smells like Darcy to me. Yeah, this is giving me Darcy vibes because Darcy gives me that tangerine, citry, patchouli, kind of like dirty patchouli vibes. I like it, but I won't be purchasing it because it smells like Darcy to me. It's giving me Darcy vibes by Parfums de Marley. So anyway, so, so far, um, I might order a couple other samples from the house, but so far, this right here, which is like the most popular scent, I think, from the House of Kerosene, you'll see a lot of reviews on this. This is amazing. I like it better than Lyra Zerjoff. It's creamier, it's sweeter, it's um, it's more of a gourmand than Lyra. On top of that, real zingy, lemon zesty note, and it's sweeter than Lyra. So um, yeah, you guys, if you like Lyra and Lyra didn't give you what you were really, really looking for, even though I love Italica, Italica gave Italica, Italica made up for what Zira didn't give me, Lyra didn't give me. Uh, but if you like Lyra, you're gonna absolutely love this stuff. And this is um, Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. Anyway, that concludes my review. Um, this is. I love it, y'all. If you love lemon, creamy, ice creamy, waffle cone, gourmand, you know, um, get this right here. You won't regret it. And to me, it's an amazing blind buy. Um, thank you all for watching my review. This was just a really short review on the House of Kerosene, Unknown Pleasures. I will be buying this um, fragrance again, and I will try not to reach for it as much, you know, as I have been. I just spray this on at night. Like anytime I go by my little fragrance area, I just get a couple doubts of this and just spray it. It's very, very addicting. All right, have an amazing day. Go out into the world, spread amazing sillage. Get your hands and your nose on um, Unknown Pleasures. And um, you all, be blessed, everybody. Bye-bye.